Yeah, okay, good evening. <clears throat> I'm uh, I'm back in my local spot in Onga while camping with Alex. He's in the dark. See that little light there? Alex is there. Say hello. Light in the dark. He's the light in the dark. The light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Um, it, it's a sad day. This this is Alex's last wild camp with me. He's going off to Hull University tomorrow. So our last one. We've been down the pub. So we've had a few a few drinks to celebrate and now um, we're doing a wild camp and, and playing with fire and playing with fire um, I've bought to mark the occasion I've bought some frozen burgers in here I've got a disposable barbecue I'm gonna get that lit in a second we've got we've got copious amounts of alcohol um, and and I then sort of toyed with the idea of doing like a survival kind of very minimalist kit you know, sort of space blanket, survival kit job overnighter and I don't know really, it sort of turned into sort of a luxurious one but <laughs> I've, uh, this is an actual friendly Swede uh, survival grenade kit, I've just opened it up, that's your paracord, you've got this little bit, I think you can burn that as well, I'm not sure, there's your uh, your kit inside there, I'm going to open it up, I'm going to get uh, the little mini f like ferro rod out and I'm going to light, I'm going to light that barbecue and we're going to get some burgers going. So uh, uh, you probably can't see it, uh, but Alex is setting up his hammock, uh, Hennessy hammock. No, no, no. It's, the hammock is just a cheap military. Thing. It's a cheap military one, but you got a Hennessy yep, hammock tarp, tarp yep, yep. which was in our last video, Hall Wood in Brentwood. Yep. I've got either a poncho tarp and a survival space blanket bag thing, or I've got outkit hunk of bivvy bag, um, summer sleeping bag and bug neck tent. I'm undecided but I haven't got a sleep pad this time. I've got a small piece of foam um, and I might try and get, I've got a black bag, I might try and get some like grass or some leaves and stuff, put that in it, try and make a makeshift uh, sleeping pad out of it but we'll see anyway. But I'm going to literally try and use as much out of this kit and I've also got a couple of other bits and pieces from other survival kits that I've cobbled together. I'm going to try and use as much as I can out of those. We'll see what happens. I'll probably end up just giving in and getting pissed and just living luxuriously. Yeah, having a good... Well, it was going to be a good time trying to challenge myself, but I'll probably give up. But I'm going to try anyway, because you don't see too many people actually doing challenges with these kits. You see them reviewing them, showing you what's inside them, but you never see them actually using them. So that's my aim is to try and use some of this stuff so anyway well I'm going to get this going because we need to get some food on the go soak up the booze okay. I'll speak to you in a bit okay so yeah it's the friendly Swede uh, survival kit it's the shape of a grenade so you, you get your paracord off and you've got this little foil bundle inside your kit now I want to try and open this foil gently you do have extra foil in it but I want to try and save this bit and use some out of this as well so gently does it it's this stuff the reviews on other YouTube things it tears really easy this bit yeah I'm tearing it already and no, it's probably not going to hold up too well it's good when they give you more more stuff okay and then you've got your kit inside yeah and that is, I believe, that's your knife, but that looks quite sharp, that. You could use that to help start a fire as well, your paper, of course. That's actually really sharp, that little blade. It's only a small blade, but you could definitely, you know, cut some serious stuff. You could cut the paracord with that easy. You've got... Okay. So yeah, yep. you open that up, you've got your knife, you've got a small bundle of fire tinder as well, so I'm going to try and use that to start um, a fire later. I've got an Esbit stove anyway, so I might chuck some of that on as well. You've got a very small fishing kit in here. I'm not going to be using that. Uh, there's your ferro rod, comes in a bit of paper, so we use that as well. You've got your weights for your fishing and more tin foil in there. Okay, so I'm going to open up this little ferro rod. I'm going to save the paper and use that as 
fire tinder later. Now I think what you do is you use the knife blade. I'm guessing I'm just gonna wing it really. So cut my finger there. I'll cut my That's finger. That's not a good start. It's not a good start, no. Hmm, what else can we use? Um got anything else? seem like they give you anything to actually strike Strikes it against which is a bit stupid they do two different types of friendly so they do this one with that that blade and then they do one with like a like an eye knife it's like a little circle with a blade that actually does have a strike on it that's a lot better I've actually lit the last thing off of that it's much better we'll keep trying anyway Fingers bleeding. <laughs> no. Well, nobody can say you don't bleed for these videos. Yeah, I do. I certainly do. That is bleeding for the calls. Anyways, we'll find something else to light this with. Get back to you in a bit. It is the morning. We survived. We did survive. Alex is putting his hammock away. This is Alex's last morning in Essex. It actually is, isn't it? Should be, yeah. Yeah, it's his final morning in Essex. Um, we're just packing up now. I've done some breakfast, the usual hot chocolate and porridge. Did something different this time. Took the <coughs> the tub of porridge, emptied it into a Ziploc bag first, saved space, and then just poured that into the 800 ml pot after I boiled the water for it. So that served as the hot chocolate as well which was good um, sleep system wise I had my out kit hunk of bivvy bag again my uh, snug pack travel pack 650 bag this a summer bag didn't bother with a, a bag liner last night it wasn't too bad it was a bit chillier than normal but, I don't know, you said it was a bit cold as well, didn't you? Well, I was feeling a bit chilly. I was off the ground, though. That's the problem with hammocks. Yeah, like if you don't have like an underquilt. It, well, yeah, under it, it is. You, your weight is on your sleeping bag, so it kind of squashes down the bottom of the sleeping bag. Exactly, yeah. So it's, uh, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too bad anyway. And then I didn't bother with a sleeping pad, because I was just sort of trying to go as light as I can, which wasn't the best thing. So I just had this little bit of foam. Um, wasn't the comfiest of things, but it wasn't too bad. I just found my arm kept going dead every time I laid on my side. So I had to like keep rolling over. But then I'd do that if I have a really comfy pad under me anyway. Um, got my new knife. Black bags. Uh, used the polycry ground tarp again. A bug net that worked well again that that's proving to be one of my uh, more wiser purchases I think just hooked it up to the tree and then I'm under this tarp which is my shitty green poncho tarp that I've got on eBay that went with me on St Peter's Way Hall wood as well our last wild camp um, I managed to sort of rig it up with a stick there and it was actually not too bad in the end. Um, I think there was a little bit of rain last night. Yeah, it was. A few spots of rain. Yeah. No, but then my head was poking out from under the tarp so I still actually got got my head wet anyway. That's what she said. Yeah. Um, hey! <laughs> <laughs> I uh, yeah I managed to cut my finger quite badly with uh, the little knife in the uh, the friendly Swede survival kit. 
uh, the new knife blade is, it's basically a scalpel blade and uh, yeah, in the process of trying to light the barbecue with the striker in it nearly sliced my finger off so and then Alex you burnt you burnt your hand didn't you Oh yeah, I I <laughs> accidentally set fire to this thermal blanket that I've got here um, on a candle, and yeah, he went to put it out and got a molten plastic burn from that. Remember, kids, don't put up a tent over the top of a candle. Burning candle. Yeah, I was I was just in a rush in the end, and I just thought, oh, I I don't care. It'll get put out. It's only cheap anyway, but yeah, luckily wasn't too bad. Got my uh, little titanium mini Esbit stove there with some foils, a wind windshield, um, and using the Terra Nova Laser Elite 20 pack. I I sort of ended up bringing two because they was quite small pack weights, three and one kilos respectively. So I just bought both. And then we bought a load of booze and um, we, you know, bought some burgers for the barbecue. So by the time we had all that, we were carrying a fair bit anyway, but it's only like a mile from my house. Maybe a little bit more. So, small walks, it's not bad, so we'll be carrying out lighter now anyway. Um, it looks like it's going to be a nice day. I've got to go to work again. Alex has got to leave the county altogether. Yep. You've got to be out of the county by sundown. Sounds like a western. Yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to have breakfast. I'm going to pack up and we're going to head off. So, I'm going to come back here on my own next time. Probably with a tent. Something simpler, I'm going to do an easy wild camp where there's not a lot of setting up required or nothing. Well, you don't have to think about it too much um, and see how that goes. And then also going to try and do the Roach Valley Way. I think I mentioned that before in the last, last couple of videos. I've been looking at a couple of others like the St Edmunds Way and the Store Valley Way in Suffolk. Uh, I've only got one more day walk to do, which is the Tollsbury Marshes one, which I'm going to split over two days, so that's going to be an overnighter as well. Um, I'll probably take my Rab Ridge Raider for that night. It's just a simple, a nice simple setup. Um, so I'll probably do like a... Um, a gear list sort of a loadout for that one and of course film that uh, so stay tuned for that and then for the Roach Valley Way I'll do the same thing as well so yeah they're probably gonna be the next two walks nothing too tricky should be nice um, summer's sort of ending now so we're I don't know really sort of it's not as warm as it was so we're sort of starting to head into autumn now, so I'll start thinking about changing my kit around, maybe using a down bag instead of the synthetic. Um, other than that, really, probably I'll either take a tent or the Ridge Raider bivvy for winter. I won't bother with a bivvy bag, and the, shouldn't really need a, a, a net tent in summer, so you don't really get too many bugs around, so yeah. Anyway, I think that's about it from me. Um, yeah, I'm going to eat, get packed up. And this is the last time you see Alex on Tom Outdoors. Yeah, well, at least for a while. Or at least for a while. At least until Tom Outdoors comes up north. Exactly. Well, we're, we've got branches everywhere soon, mate, honestly. <laughs> the Empire will take over. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so it's au revoir from Alex, not goodbye. No. And it's goodbye from me.